the Brow Smudge or welcome if you're new here. I'm Courtney and today I am going to be vlogging a little bit. It's a little bit, oh there went my hand. Um, it's a little bit different though. I'm not sure how much actual vlogging and how much is going to be like a haul of what we get at this consignment sale. We got here on the first day that it opens. So we actually got here 30 minutes early before they open and it's already been packed and people lining up. So it's going to be kind of crazy. <laughs> the sun's going down that's why it's so bright. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and go. I've been in the car doing my thumbnail for tonight's video and got that done. I'm gonna go get, stand in line with him now because it's like, it's getting close to opening. It's probably gonna be crazy and chaotic in here, but maybe I'll get a couple clips, but either way, I'm gonna show you what we end up getting. We've got a long list of things that hopefully we can find. So let's go. consignment sale we did not have very much luck that was very sad we didn't have much luck with the big stuff at all I did have luck with like the boys clothes the older boys but even for the baby I only got a couple things and I'll show all of that to you guys um I feel like everything was pretty picked over and Travis was probably 20th in line to get in the door that night and that's the first night of it where you pay to get in um like for a donation for a fundraiser night and it was so crowded after because we were there like 30 minutes early and he got in line and I stayed in the car for a little bit like I said um there was probably hundreds of people <laughs> that were there that night it was nuts so when we got in we went straight to the back where all of the big stuff was and everything like half of it was gone for starters from like their preview pictures that they had and then other stuff already had the tag ripped I'm like thinking how in the world but I think they have the consigners that actually bring stuff the night before that are able to shop so that's probably where I would assume a lot of the big stuff got taken and that's fine it is what it is usually in the past though we've had good luck with it so I was a little disappointed with that um we ended up going to some other consignment stores a couple days later that I'm going to show you guys and we also went to Target and ended up getting a stroller. I ordered one online and we actually tried it out in the store with Grant sitting in it. Um, one of the wheels was flat though, but other than that, it, we liked it a lot. So that's the one that we're going with. It actually got here um, last night. I think that's all there really is to say. This video kind of turned into just a thrift haul um, of us going to thrift stores and finding baby stuff that where we could. We still didn't find at the thrift stores, well, consignment stores, um, any of the ba big baby stuff there either. I'm going to keep trying. There's a couple more stores that I still want to try. But other than that, looks like we're just going to be buying it. I've checked Facebook Marketplace and I'll probably keep an eye on that. But, you know, we're getting down to crunch time. So there's some things we can wait on, but then some things that I want immediately, like the bouncer. And we still need to get a car seat. I wasn't planning to do that secondhand anyway, most likely. So we still need to order one. Um, we just wanted to make sure what kind of stroller we got first so that it would, you know, connect easily with that. Okay, so as far as everything we got from the consignment sale, I'll start with the boys stuff first or like, you know, I've got more than just consignment sale. We went to a couple consignment stores as well. So I'll start with the boys stuff and then go to the baby stuff because there's quite, well, there's quite a bit of boys stuff too, actually. I was going to say there's more um, baby stuff, but... Grant's got quite a bit of clothes too. Porter didn't need as many because he has a lot of hand-me-downs from Grant, but he still needed a few shorts. And then if I ever find stuff that is just too cute that I can't not get, you know, I'll do that too. At the consignment sale, I think we spent like 80 something. And most of that was clothes, like I said, because we didn't find any big stuff. So I'll start with Porter's. He's got a few pairs of shorts here. Um, and I can't remember how much these were. I know I didn't pay more than $5 for any shorts. And most of the shirts I didn't pay more than like 3 bucks for. Because that's just kind of my own personal cutoff for that. These shorts were just really cute. They're like a gray. They feel really nice. And then they've got the tie drawstring so we can tighten it. Um, and they are this JK brand. And in my experience, they run a little bit big. So I did get 3T in those. Um, and they look long too. So they'll probably fit him for a while. Then these Adidas shorts, 
and they tend to run a little bit small, so I got the size four in those. We always need plenty of play shorts. And then another pair of blue ones. I think they have a little snag, but that is fine. These are Carter's 3T. I think these were $2.99 if I remember correctly, and those were four, and those were probably four also. Grants were a little bit more. Yeah. Blue. Yes, that is blue. And then Travis saw this and wanted to get it for Easter for Porter with the cute little tie. It is really cute. Can't remember how much it is. I wish they didn't tear off the price tags on all of their stuff. I've never this heard. One this one. Do you like it? Uh, yeah. Does it look like Easter? <laughs> it's the colors. You can wear it for Easter church. Do you like it? Yeah. With the tie? Yeah. Cool. I've never heard of this brand, but I mean, that's not. That cool. looks like a daddy. <laughs> The kind of stuff that daddy wears. Yeah. <laughs> so I've never really heard of this brand. That's not really how we shop though. It's just basically if it's cute and looks like it's going to fit. And then this, I could not, not get. It is adorable. It is Carter's 3T. He's already had it on. That's why it's not on the hanger anymore. It says snack time. It's a little bear and it's eaten. So lift that up. And it also came with shorts. I think I paid $3.99 for this. And it looks like it's never been worn. Actually, I'm pretty sure it had the tags on it. And he made me take them off already. And he loves it. These are a little bit big. But they do tie. So it's quite funny watching him walk around in it for a while. He would not take it off. <laughs> walk around with it. Pulling them up. And then Grant. He's got quite a bit. Because he needs more. I mean, he doesn't have any handy hand-me-downs coming in. There's also... A Buzz Lightyear costume. I'll have to go grab it off of um, my dresser in our room that I found that was brand new. I'll show it to you guys. And then he's already wore one pair of shorts and I think one shirt. And I don't know. They're probably already in the laundry, if I'm being honest. So these, I don't even think had a brand on them. They just looked like they would fit. And they're kind of two-toned right here. Um, lots and lots of shorts for Grant. Because, like I said, we're always playing sports. And he's always, you know... They're always getting dirty in the summer. We stay outside all day. Didn't want anything too nice. <laughs> like this is worn off, but that's fine. They're play shorts. Um, place sport, size five, six. I think those were $2.99 if I remember correctly. And then the Under Armour ones, I think these were four because I do have a couple snags. But like I said, I think it's fine. I'm pretty sure I didn't notice that though when I was looking. If I'm being honest, it was absolutely crazy in there. And these are Under Armour ones. These were $5, $4.99. Um, but they are really nice looking. And then these were also $4.99. I think, yeah, they're Under Armour also. Those look a little bit bigger too, longer. But he is growing like a weed lately. Then we've got this plain gray pair. I like solid colors that go with a lot. <laughs> If you can't tell, um, I don't know what brand that is, but there's those. I think those were just $2.99. We also picked up these soccer cleats. We've already signed them up for soccer, and he's just got some big legs. <laughs> so we sized up a size, and I'm hoping these will work. These were $2.99 at there, and they don't look very worn at all, except a little bit on the outside. And then shirts, we've got this jumping bean one. I want to say this was $2.00. This Old Navy shirt is new with tags, and I'm pretty sure it was $2.99. And I thought that would be good for, like, St. Patrick's Day. This is green, but it's coming up looking a little bit different. It's actually, like, a dark green forest green or something like that. I just thought it was really cute. And then this dinosaur one. I feel like this came with shorts also. And if it did, I'm not sure where they went. <laughs> um, I want to say it was $3.99 with the shorts. And it's Arizona brand size six. This basketball shirt was real cute. It was $2.99. Um, champion. Whoop. They're sticking together. We've got this just plain red Nike shirt that it was a little worn and I believe it was $2 because of that. Ball shirt. He was most excited for this shirt. He's been wanting a Tennessee ball shirt that was in his size and we just hadn't had any luck finding one. And this is three dollars so he was really excited that we brought that home. And then the Avengers shirt. I think this is yeah Avengers. <laughs> um, and this was Old Navy I believe. Yep and that was $2.99 also. And then for Grant at a consignment store 
Travis picked up these shoes, thought it'd be good for his Easter outfit, size two, or you know, just church shoes in general, moving on up a size. They were $7.99, Highland Creek Comfort, never heard of it, but um, they fit and we liked them, so we got them. And then this outfit, it was Old Navy, green, with the shorts also for $3.99. And these are the shorts that came with it. They're real soft, I like them. And they're Old Navy also. So that was all of Grant's except for the Buzz Lightyear costume that I'll bring out after I show you this baby stuff. Okay, so baby stuff at the consignment sale by the time I looked at the clothes after not finding any other actual baby items, I only came out with, I think, two things from there. But then I got some more at some consignment stores that I'll show you too. This one though, I did get at the consignment sale. It was just too stinking cute. Little overalls, zero to three. It was new with tags, Cat and Jack, which I absolutely love Cat and Jack from Target. They, their pants we wore for the boys for years, their shirts, they've got cute stuff for boys in my opinion. Um, but this is absolutely adorable. It's got little pockets on the butt. <laughs> and then this will probably fit for no time at all. It's a newborn. Um, I think this was $3.99 by the way. So normally, $17.99 and I got it for $3.99 I'm pretty sure and then this one was just $2.99 I want to think sometimes I'm good about remembering prices and other times I'm not at all but I thought it was really cute it comes with the blue pants and a little hat how cute and then the next day we had went to Marshall's I just thought I'd throw that in there as well and show you all the baby things that we've gotten got this little sleeper with the animals on it real cute and it was $6.99, came with a hat as well. <clears throat> Target, we went ahead and ordered a stroller at Target. And while we were there, we were gonna pick it up there, but they didn't have any in stock. So I just ordered it while I was there. But this just was absolutely adorable. This is my favorite color. <laughs> it's got animals on it too. This is a three month one and it was $10. I think it was supposed to be 20% um, off or like, if I use the app, but I just, I don't know. <laughs> we were so tired by then um, that I think I forgot to do it. So I paid $10 because I just checked my receipt and it was 10, but it's still so cute. Um, and then this one was for Marshalls also. Again, my favorite color combo here. Um, and it was $8.99. I don't know, Renee Role baby. <laughs> and then from the consignment stores, We've got a few things here. Um, the first thing I got there, I almost grabbed a bouncer, but somebody got it right before I could. <laughs> she was getting lots of baby stuff too, and she got the bouncer, or we would have had a bouncer because we cannot find one anywhere, so we're probably gonna end up having to buy that new as well. We've checked Marketplace and everything and can't and can't seem to find one. But I did get this Boone um, grass mat for $6.99 with these two attachments. And these are always really handy for bottle parts and nursing parts, that sort of thing. Um, all that pumping parts, I mean, um, for drying those, it's just a drying rack. And then this cute little toy rainbow fish, I think it's Melissa and Doug, yeah. And it was $5.99, makes different sounds and things hiding under it with a little mirror on it. Teether toy, I thought that was cute. And then another, it's just crinkly. Oh, <laughs> I can see it. Yeah, and then this little monkey um, thing for them to hold and teeth on, a and monkey. yeah, a monkey, and the little um, what are these called? The ribbon things, you know, um, that babies tend to like, and it crinkles as well too. And it was three ninety nine, and I don't think it's been used because it's still got like the, it's still got a plastic thing in it that I need to pull off on both sides. Um, and then for the clothes that we found, this was at Once Upon a Child for $2.50. It's one of those that like sleep gown things that are easy in the middle of the night to change diaper and has a little hat. I thought that was cute. This one was so cute and it's going to fit for like a whole week, if that. Honestly, if that. It runs really small. It's newborn and Gerber tends to run smaller anyway in my experience so hopefully it'll fit for a little bit it's just so cute and it came with the little pants 
and I got that for two ninety nine. Um, this Carter's you outfit. The baby? Yeah. I am thing to change this for the baby. Oh, okay. And this Carter's outfit was brand new as well. It's two sleepers and the zipper goes two ways, which is awesome. So that side and then just a plain striped one that's real cute. And I got that for $4.99, so pretty good deal for that for two of them. And then all of these sleepers were $2.99 each. This one was cute. It's got a little cloud and sunshines on it, but little clouds on the knees. And this one looks like it zips. No, just one way, but I like when they do it from below like that, like at the bottom. So you don't have to unzip all of them to change your diaper. I think this one was an Old Navy. Yeah, Old Navy. Then Carter's. And this is funny because I know that we have this in like a nine-month one. Um, that Porter wore <laughs> with the little dinosaur feet. And this is three months. I got them all different sizes because we love sleepers. And then a whale one. That's also Carter's. Three months and two ninety nine. So that is all of our thrift haul. Hopefully there's one more that store that we want to go to that's um, a consignment store. But other than that, this is what we've got. And we're gonna start buying the big stuff, I reckon, since we didn't have any luck finding it. And um, we do have a crib from a friend. And then we've already bought a swing at a consignment store. And then Travis actually stopped on his way home and at a consignment store and got a doorway jumper for like five bucks. So that was a really good deal. Um, so that was exciting and he said it looked brand new. So let me go get that Buzz Lightyear costume real quick. Okay, Buzz Lightyear costume. This is actually still has the tags on it, Disney tags. So that's kind of awesome. And I think it's a size five, six. It fit Grant perfectly and he loves to dress up. Um, and it came with like this little, I don't know, whatever it's called, Buzz's jetpack thing. But it was $8 at the consignment, or the consignment sale. And it's very nice quality, so that'll be fun. So this vlog, like I said, was a little different. But I hope you guys still enjoyed seeing everything that we got for the baby and the boys at thrift stores and consignment, consignment sales and consignment stores, rather. Not really thrift stores. Um, that's a little different when people donate. These are consignment stores where people sell it to them, I believe. That's the difference, right? <laughs> um, we did find some good stuff. Definitely some really good clothes. I like to do this once or twice a year of like a big haul for spring and summer and then fall and winter. And that's usually when the consignment sales happen too, twice a year. So that's what we do. And then we just fill in where it needed throughout the year. If they're missing a couple pieces, you know, that we just kind of need for different things. But I feel like we did pretty good and they won't need shorts most likely at all for the summer unless they just grow out of them. Um, Porter would probably be fine because he's got lots from Grant. But other than that, I think we're pretty covered. I wanted to get some sandals and rain boots for both of them. Um, and didn't find any of those anywhere. Porter's probably going to need a new pair of church shoes. Tennis shoes I think they're good on. Because we just got Grant a new pair recently anyway. Um, and other than that, I think we're good. So I'm happy with that. But it's just the baby stuff that we're still getting. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And thank you guys for being here and coming along with us to all these consignment stores. If you enjoyed it, then go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. It helps out my channel and pushes it out to more people, I reckon. At least that's what they say. <laughs> um, and subscribe down below if you're not already. I'll see you guys in the next video for our grocery haul, I believe, in a couple days. Bye.